Stop complaining about being broke. Here's some tips on how to promote your music with no money. Let's get straight into it. Here's sound on the beat. What's happening, people? It's Shek from It's His Sound, back again, ready to spread some knowledge to all of the people watching. Now, if this is the first time you're watching us, we do tips, tricks, tutorials, vlogs, and give all the information on how to succeed and be successful as a new and upcoming rapper slash producer okay so if that is anything that will help you or something that you think that you might be into maybe now maybe in the future i'd like you to press that subscribe button and i'd like you to also press the bell which will keep you notified for every time that we're going to upload something new a lot of people always ask how to promote your music with no money so i'm going to give you a few tips and just a few bits of information that will help people who are questioning this or asking that question to themselves. If you're on this video and you're looking for an easy, quick fix to be able to make money tomorrow in terms of your music, then this is not the video for you. It's not gonna happen like that. It's very rare, should we say, that we have those overnight success stories. Those people you hear about are blessed and there's no need to be envious or hate on those kind of people. All you need to do is just strive and work harder for what you want and you will achieve what you want. So the first step in advertising or promoting your music with no money is accepting that you are broke, yeah? I know it sounds daft and it sounds like a bit of a joke, but I'm not joking. You need to accept you are broke to therefore be able to then start being able to change that. So there's a lot of people that wanna stun and they wanna do this and they wanna let me, let me say it in a, in a clearer way. There's a lot of people out here nowadays that are in it for the views, the likes, the comments. They're in it for, let's say, the short-term game, the money. They're not really bothered in their craft in what they're actually trying to do or what they're trying to achieve in life. They're more focused on what everyone else thinks. And that could be your biggest downfall with anything you're trying to achieve. So accepting you're broke is probably the first thing you have to do. How are you gonna change that? So. Not having money is not a good enough excuse to not succeed in what you want to succeed in um, and not achieve what you want to achieve. So once you've got that mindset and you're ready, then we can move on to the next step. Remember, like I say, I'm not joking. Money is a resource. So you always have to keep that in mind as well. You're not going to be broke forever. That's the thing that everyone always forgets as well. They always just dwell on the fact that they're broke now. It is a bit embarrassing, yeah, I understand that from a social point, but also the other thing is from a social point, a social media point anyway, most people just tend to show their highlights in life nowadays. They don't show the poor and the down points in their life. So you are gonna feel like that when all you're looking at all day is everyone just living the glitz and the glamour, but remember that they have those down days and those those bad times too. You don't see when their cars are getting repossessed, etc. So just remember that. Okay, so I'm gonna just give you guys a quick story into things that have happened over my lifetime and how I've basically used some of the tips I'm going to be giving you to succeed. So I was at school and I had a friend, right? My friend, chap, hold tight chap. And we used to like bars. Like we were so into grime and bars. We wanted to just spit and hip hop. We loved it too. And he used to like his little thing before like was doing DJing and my little thing was I was just into computers I just play computer all the time and then we were friends and that was the thing that made us friends and made us bond together now we didn't have no money but we decided we wanted to make like a little crew is what they used to call it so we wanted to make this crew and we was going to be like the, the hardest MC crew but it was only at school so we decided like you know what yeah it's going to take time and we're going to have to work at this so literally we used to force ourselves every day after school we'd meet up we'd always find like our parents used to get actually quite annoyed with it but it would be either my house or his house because we lived on the same street and we'd be literally in our bedrooms practicing spitting these bars writing these bars going to each other's houses clashing each other just so we could practice and we literally got to the point where this was all before youtube as well bear in mind and when YouTube actually came about and started coming out and we started seeing like the content being put on there, it's not like you got to remember that HD cameras weren't even the best back then. And literally, funny story, by the time we actually got round to start putting, because we were slacking in fair in terms of putting content onto like these platforms when they were coming out, because again, we were thinking like a lot of how people think about these things now, like, oh yeah, we were taking it for advantage. Like, yeah, it was there, 
but we weren't really focused on that. We just thought, yeah, it's just about we're, we're MCs. We want to just write bars and spit bars. We weren't thinking about all the other things that come into making our like promotion successful and promoting ourselves and getting people getting ourselves heard. So um, basically, we ended up getting this. Now this is ridiculous. Like it's pink. It says HD on it. It says JVC. I don't even know what make it is. I don't know what model, but. Basically, the reason why I'm showing you that is that is the first actual video recording software that we had because phones weren't doing it back then. We was using some recording equipment basically that gives you, all you could do on there was add echo and pretty much all you or just press record. And we didn't even have a mic stand. We used to use a PC mic. So the ones that you put over your head and we used to literally, we just, bent it so that we could stick that in the top of the hoover pipe which was my friend's dyson yeah hold tight his mum for lending us the dyson and then we put that literally into the top and then we could use that as our mic stand and we could spit bars wherever like if it was in the bedroom and we could record and that was how our first tracks came about and to be fair the recording quality and everything was so but when i think back to that now and if i compare that to how some people look at like their promotions on like for example facebook or youtube and they complain saying that oh like i'm hardly being seen and i'm not getting no reach and to be honest yeah when you just do it for the fun of it and even if it's not the best quality you find that you'll get more people like the traction on it because you're more passionate about it for one and for two like when you're not thinking so hard about those things and you just it would naturally just come Back then it was just a bit, I don't know, it just seemed to just happen naturally. There was people like in our local area that just seemed to be more interested. I think it's because of how we approached it, why they were more interested. Just basically just, I want you guys to see that when you've got nothing, sometimes you have to find what you can use to then be able to just create whatever you need anyway. So we didn't have money to get these top-notch cameras. Our parents weren't buying us top-notch phones. And to be honest, the phone qualities weren't even that good back then anyway. And our computers weren't, our computers weren't the best we didn't even have proper microphone but we just got on with it and to be honest that back in that time it actually worked we, we were actually doing all right now i know what you'll say obviously we're in 20 like 19 we're going into 2020 and like yeah the quality is stepped up a lot but also the accessibility of all those items have gone so cheap now so you can cut back on something maybe if you guys are like younger than 18 or if you are over 18 there's something you can cut out of your life for maybe a week or a couple of weeks or however long it's going to take you to be able to save for this equipment because you can go onto Amazon now and you can go and like literally find products for like less than £30 that would be decent enough for you to be able to do what you need to do just to get started if you are in that beginner realm. Think about what resources you have already. We're in 2019 going into 2020. Most people have got a smartphone nowadays. You can record videos on your smartphone. You can record full tracks on your smartphone now if you've got like, for example, GarageBand on your iPhone or if you've got like Fruity Loops on your, on your Android phone. You can you can literally do it all off your phone without even touching a computer so no one like i said at the start of this has got excuses for saying that not having enough money and that's the reason why they're not succeeding because there's people out there that are succeeding to this day that are not using any form of advertisement or marketing they're just literally just growing through organic stuff and it's just about having something good to show the people just remember as well how many people are out there trying to do the same thing as all of we're all trying to do the same thing out here so you can't expect to have massive growth when you're just copying somebody else it's not going to happen use what you got and use that to create whatever you need if you've only got like i showed you some little crappy camera or if you've only got your camera phone use your camera phone make something using that if you're like a rapper and you need to be able to record then and you can't find studio or you can't afford studio use your mobile at least start recording it and getting used to how you're going to drop it and a lot of these programs, like I say, are actually stepping up. You can do like multi-track recording on your phone. And I'm being serious about that. Maybe I need to make a video just to show you guys like how serious I am. Like you can literally do this all off your phone now. I do understand as well, because I do get people all the time. And I know that some of these comments might be, oh, well, I can't do this. It's too much. I'm not a marketer. I'm not a business person. I'm not a manager. I'm not this. I'm not that. Yes, I've heard it all before. And I constantly get told you can't do everything yourself. And I understand that okay and i'm not directing that at everyone and i'm not trying to be personal with anyone i'm just just showing you like 
the kind of things that people say to me i've got to be real about it at the end of the day because this is real life and it's hard out here for rappers or for, even if you're a singer or if you're a music producer people always try and discourage you to make you feel like this is not a real job but it is a job at the end of the day and you can't not treat it like a business and you can't not treat it like you don't need to understand pretty much every aspect of what's going on with your business at the start you need to know everything that's going on with your business so I suggest with most people it's just start small and start with what you can do and then start building on from what you can do and go from there if you really are struggling with some things there's always a way nowadays especially a free way YouTube Google like there's always a way to find whatever you're looking for or there's always somebody offering their services out there maybe even for free that will willingly help you you just have to just look at what they're doing and look at the level they're at and basically go with what you can afford if you can't afford to get no top top notch video producer look in your local area the people that are at college and university and see if they'll offer like will do anything for free for you or maybe there's some sort of agreement you can come to with them it isn't possible like i say to do it all yourself and it won't be forever that you're doing everything yourself if you are serious about it. So delegating work to others is always a good option as well. If you've got other people around you, and this is another thing that always bugs me about people, right? They always are quick to shove off the help from people that might be a bit crappy at maybe what they're offering you to do. But in order for that person to grow, they need to obviously take on work too. Now, I'm not telling you to go and give them your top, project what you're working on right now but maybe you should uh, sorry maybe you should consider working with those people because those people are only going to grow and if you're working with them already from when they're up and coming like yourself then maybe that's going to lead to maybe some sort of discount or maybe you're going to have some sort of agreement with that person in the future or like i say local networking is only going to make your business better that person can recommend you and vice versa so use what you've got like i keep saying okay there's people around like me for example that i know that can do a certain service but they're just like it's like the work shy i don't understand like maybe i need to be a bit more direct with them and say look i know you do this and i need you to do this because like i say everyone can't do everything themselves like i know that i can offer them services which i have offered them and to be fair they're like it's like they don't want my service i know that obviously i'm good enough to do the service and i understand it's their business i think it's because a lot of people feel like that oh no it's my business i need to do this but sometimes if, if help's being offered then take the help it's there's no shame in taking the help because it's only going to help you to grow so everybody literally wants to promote their stuff and everyone probably already has started if you're watching this video promoting this stuff using some sort of free traffic on some sort of social media so work with those things work with what you're already working with like if you've got facebook i said it on my last video if you haven't seen my last video i'm going to post a link underneath in the description below so you can watch that and watch that video because it's good video explaining on how to get your music heard you'd need to look at the different platforms that you're already using so if you're already using facebook twitter TikTok, Bebo, MySpace, I don't know, whichever ones you're using, because there's so many of them nowadays, and it's hard to say which one's the best one, and they're all good at different things, and it depends on how you use them and how you utilize those different things. So you need to try hard to understand the platforms that you're working on so you can utilize them to the best for your campaign. Social media, a lot of them, yeah, they are changing a little bit, but a lot of them are free. You have to understand that. Think about how many people are trying to use the same service as you. Imagine that. And they all, I can't say they're all trying to do the same thing, but everyone's got like ambitions and everyone's got something to say on a lot of these social media things. So you gotta just try and cut through that noise, which is very hard to do. Even I struggle to do that sometimes. You know what I mean? But I don't moan about it. You know why? Because it's free. It's free. Remember, I, I'm probably not the first one to say it, yeah? But I'm gonna say it again. It's free. How can you moan about something that you're being given for free like people say to me oh yeah my facebook post ain't getting out there like you know what i'm gonna be real about it i'm guilty of it i'll hold my hands up and say it yeah i've done it in the past myself yeah it's took me a long time yeah to get out of that mindset i'll be real with you it's when i started going back onto the youtube and started uploading properly that i started thinking about it like on a real level like if i only get like two likes on a on a post or if i only get like two people that watch this video yeah i don't care do you know why? Because those two people, as long as I help them, yeah, that's all that matters to me. Because I'll leave the YouTube space knowing, like, with a better conscience, knowing that I've helped people. 
and my content is actually helping them and if they do choose to support me then they will people need to look at that look check yourself are you doing it just for the fame and the glory or are you actually doing it because you love it because if you are doing it for like reasons of fame and glory it's going to be hard to get that you know what i mean and if you do finally get it then it's going to be hard to maintain it okay because you don't really passionately love it so it's not going to stay with you that's why you get a lot of hit and miss with music like where you get people that make like one hit wonder track they've got the fame and the money and the glory and then it's like they're not focused on making that next big track and then the next thing you know they disappear so it can happen to anyone especially when we're up and coming artists us especially we need to like look at ourselves and make sure that we've got the right mindset to be able to achieve what we want if you've got a problem with the platform so like we was just saying um facebook or like instagram with the amount of engagement and stuff that you're getting on there maybe you need to look at like learning those platforms properly there's so many bits of advice and tips and tricks on youtube and on google and on how to make your post more engaging and think about how many people like i said are on these platforms and they're trying to all pretty much say the same thing as you like it's so hard and if you've got no money and you've got no advertising money should we say and it's going to be even harder so what you've got to do is work even harder at engaging your audience try and get them watching you try and get them to listen to what you're saying it doesn't have to always be buy 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 my thing listen to me listen to me like that you need to do it in other ways like try and engage with people find out what they need to like it grow for themselves like maybe they need a service that you can help them with and then in turn they'll probably just listen to you based on the fact that you help them so bear that in mind and just think about going into 2020 with a clear head and a clear mindset so that you can achieve more out of your music and your promotion just remember like i said it's free all of this stuff even you watching me right now you're doing it for free so it's not costing you anything apart from time invest your time into perfecting your craft and then you can also invest your time into pushing your stuff out there because you can do it for free just go on onto facebook or go onto social media or whichever platform you're using and push your stuff that way thank you very much for watching if you did get to the end of the video what i'm going to start doing from now on as well if you did watch all the way to the end and this is how i'm going to catch people out from now on if you watched all the way to the end i want you to leave hashtag end of video in the bottom of the comments because that way i'll know that you watched it all the way to the end and all the people that actually do this guess what i'm gonna do i'm gonna give you a shout out yeah in my next video and i'm also yeah going to make sure that we speak and i'm gonna get a free beat to you just for doing that thank you very much for as i say supporting me because there are people out there supporting we're a small channel at the moment but we're slowly growing if you haven't pressed the subscribe button yet please press the subscribe button. It helps us to get out there and to help all of the other people like yourselves who are watching be able to grow your sound. So let's do that and start today. Start growing your sound with It's His Sound. I'm Shep Music. Peace.